The TCM FS01 Fusion Splicer Kit includes a fusion splicer with carry case, an AC adapter with mains and vehicle cords, a lithium battery and battery charger, a spare set of electrodes with an electrode cleaning disc, a shoulder strap, a cooling tray and an instruction manual. The kit is also supplied with a C01 precision cleaver. The splicing mechanism is housed at the top of the unit, underneath a hinged windshield. Opening the shield exposes the electrodes and the fibre V-grooves and clamps. The heat shrink oven sits behind the windshield. Two sets of colour-coded buttons at the front are used for controlling the menu and for starting the splicing and heat shrink operations. A colour LCD screen is hinged at the front of the unit. This displays the menu and also shows the images of the fibres during the splicing stage. In the brief time when the fusion arc is discharging, shutters cover the internal cameras to protect them from damage. The power socket, on-off switch and computer interface are all mounted at the side. To prepare the first fibre, remove about 50mm of coating from the end and clean off the residue using a lint-free cloth soaked in 98% reagent grade isopropyl alcohol. A sign that the fibre is completely clean is when it squeaks as it's pulled through the cloth. Open both covers of the cleaver. Notice how opening the main cover automatically puts the blade carriage in the correct position ready for cleaving the fibre. Carefully lay the prepared fibre into the appropriate guide according to the coating type so that the end of the coating butts up against the stop. Close the waste bin cover to hold and tension the fibre. Then close the main cover to activate the blade carriage. After being scored the fibre is pulled by a small roller until it breaks. Slide a heat shrink protection sleeve over the second fibre, then repeat the stripping, cleaning and cleaving process. Open the fusion splicer windshield and the first fibre clamp. Lay the fibre into the V-groove and position it so that the end of the fibre is about a millimetre back from the tips of the electrodes. Close the fibre clamp. Repeat this process with a second fibre. Then close the windshield and press the green button. The splicing unit will now take over the process. First, it will perform a pre-splice by firing an arc across the fibre ends to clean and round them off slightly prior to fusion. After the pre-splicing process, the fibre cores are aligned in all planes and brought together ready for splicing. Once the fibres have been fused together, the monitor shows an image of the final result, along with a readout of the estimated light loss in decibels across the splice. At this stage, the windshield and heat oven cover can be opened and the fibre clamps released. Carefully lift the fibre away from the grooves and slide the heat shrink protection sleeve over the exposed splice. Drop the protected splice into the heating oven. The fibre clamps are closed during this process. Finally, close the cover and start the heat shrinking by pressing the yellow button. When the shrinking process is complete, the hot splice can be placed on the detachable cooling tray at the rear of the unit.